afternoon, Glenrock High School. Welcome to Season 3, Episode 1 of GR News. I'm your lead anchor, Julia Lavolsi. And I'm your co-anchor, Gavin Mealy. And you're watching GR News. Get ready to think pink. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You've probably seen, or maybe even worn, a pink ribbon during October to support those who have been diagnosed with, are battling, or are recovering from the disease. Second to skin cancer, breast cancer is the most common cancer in women in the United States, making up for about 30% of all female cancers each year. While breast cancer is highly treatable when caught early, the somber truth is as of 2023, there's still no definitive cure. However, ongoing studies are looking at ways to enhance current breast cancer identification options. For more than 40 years, October has been recognized as National Breast Cancer Awareness Month to reduce the stigma, educate the public on the importance of early detection, and elevate our awareness on the effect of breast cancer on our lives. For more information about breast cancer risks, causes, symptoms, treatments, and research, visit the American Cancer Society's webpage. Well, September is gone, October is here, and you know what that means, homecoming. Here was our lineup this week. Monday was Pajama Day, Tuesday was Country vs. Country Club, Wednesday was Decades, Thursday was Cradle to the Grave, and today is the Senior Sunrise Pep Rally in our iconic homecoming game. In honor of HOCO, I hit the halls of Glen Rock High School to see what the students are most excited about. What are your predictions for Friday's homecoming game? Um, I think Glen Rock's going to win. Go Panthers! Panther. Alright, today I'm here with Zach Suriali. What are your predictions for Friday's homecoming game? I have a win for Glen Rock. I got 7-6. Baller misses a game tying field goal. Go Panthers. Today we're here with Jillian Hosa. What are your predictions for Friday's homecoming game? I mean, obviously we're going to win. Go Panthers. All right, right now I'm here with Alex Kim. What are you most excited for this homecoming week? Um, football game. Yeah, football game. Go Panthers. Today we're here with Melina McAllister. What are you most excited about for this homecoming week? I'm most excited about how our school spirit is going to take us to the win. Woo! All right, now I'm here with Mio Scalzo. What are you most excited about for your last homecoming week? Um, the last pep rally, definitely. Woo! Today I'm here with Mr. Feldman. What are your predictions for Friday's homecoming game? I truly hope that Glen, Glen Rock wins the game comfortably, but also more hope that nobody gets hurt. Go Panthers, stay safe. All right, we're here with Daniel Zolniski. What are you most excited about for this homecoming week? Um, I'm very excited for the football game on Friday. Today I'm here with Emily McCann, Agal Moore Chen. What are you guys most excited about for this homecoming week? I'm most excited for pep rally to show off our routine. I would say I'm also very excited for pep rally, but I'm also excited. Yep, I'm also excited for the homecoming game. Just like the hype and the energy is just super fun. Go Panthers! Today I'm here with Franny. What are you most excited about for homecoming week? Um, I think the pep rally and everyone's school spirit. Woo! All right, right now I'm here with Zach Silberstein. What are you most excited about for homecoming week? Um, I'm excited about the uh, football games, dressing up, and the parties. Yeah. Let's go Glen Rock. All right, right now I'm here with Richie Pucci. What are your predictions for Friday's homecoming game? Uh, it's going to be a great game. Glen Rock's going to win 21 to 14. Yeah, go Panthers. Right now I'm here with star football player Peter Lagerman. What do you have to say about Friday's football game? Uh, we're we're going to win. Yeah. <laughs> Go Panthers. Right now I'm here with uh, Coach Dowell. What are you most excited about for this homecoming week? Um, I was very excited to see that the hallways are being decorated again. It's great. I love that in the past. It's been really good spirit to get the class together to do that. Um, so I was happy to see that come and make a comeback. Yeah. Go Panthers. Of course, the whole nation of homecoming week is the homecoming football game on Friday night. Here's hoping the football team will pull out a win for us. With more details on sports, it's our superstar sports seniors, Richie and Zach. Thanks, Julia. We are definitely looking forward to the homecoming football game against Butler at 6 p.m. The Panthers took the win against Lodi, Garfield, and Becton so far this season. Be sure to show your support at the games and dress on theme. This season, the boys soccer team is dominating the NJSU with a 6-2-1 record. The Glenrock girls team has a current record of 7-1-1 and sit at the top of the NJIC Colonial Division. The girls volleyball team had an incredible year led by their new head coach, Jonathan Hahn. Last month, the Panthers brought home the first place trophy in the Leonia tournament going undefeated. Congrats! Glenrock's cross country team has had an incredible season so far. The boys team took home the NJIC Division Championship in a win 46-45 over Leonia. The girls team tied with Rutherford for the league title. The girls tennis team is off to a great start this year with an early impressive record of 5-1 in their league. 
The team looks to continue their success over the course of the season. Keep it up, guys. And that's all the updates on Glenrock Sports. Back to you guys in the studio. Now for a wholesome global news segment. We're off to Indonesia where a baby rhino is bringing hope to its species. Kamba's National Park on southern Sumatra Island took to X to share the news of the birth of a rhino calf with the world. The Sumatran rhino is a species sliding into extinction and is considered one of the world's most endangered animals. The National Park shared a video and a series of photos of the newborn with its mother. The unnamed rhino is the third child of rhino parents Ratu and Andalus. Sumatran rhinos are considered the smallest rhinos in the world, only standing at four to five feet tall and having a body length of nearly eight feet. Habitat loss and hunting are the greatest threats to their survival. The new birth brings the captive population of the species to 10 and is estimated to put the wild population at 34 to 47 individuals. The Sumeritan Rhino Sanctuary is a beacon of hope for the species. That's all we have for today. Make sure you're following our social media pages at Glenrock Media on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for all the latest GR News updates. Until next time, remember to be kind. I'm Julie Lavolsi. And I'm co-anchor Gavin Mealy. And this has been GR News.